Good morning, everyone. So it's a little windy today. I apologize for the wind. Um, we showed you in the previous two videos um, how we were setting up the tie downs for the high tunnel. And I wanted to come back and give you a little more explanation about that today. So I'm going to walk you through this. I'm going to flip the camera around and we'll walk you through why we did what we did. In this high tunnel, um, as you saw in the instructions from uh, the manufacturer, um, they offer tie-down kits and all of those neat things. And based on where you're at, defines kind of how you need to do that. So we have a black gumbo soil here with a clay base underneath it. So we get a lot of um, moisture that will shoot underneath this thing. We don't have an issue with this really sinking. But we have a lot of high wind and we have had, you know, Hurricane Harvey came through and sat on top of us for three days. So we want to make sure that we can hold the structure in the ground. The manufacturer just has you drive these base posts in from here to the ground. Um, they have you drive those in uh, to grade with the, with, well, I'll show you on this other side. So they have you drive it into grade um, in these two holes here where your baseboards go. So if you buy their tie-down kit and look at their tie-down kit, um, you could pour curbs for this. You could pour um, a two-foot slab that went all the way around similar to a curb. But what we wanted to do, if you look down the side of the tunnel, our tie-downs are inside of the tunnel so it doesn't interfere with the curtain. Um, the vinyl covering that comes down over the top of your arches and works its way down to the ground that you can roll up and down. So because it's we set that ring in the center of these this post and that post, our intention is is to take a guy wire from that post to there and from that post to there. And because it's inside of the tunnel, we're actually putting pressure we're pulling pressure this way to to hold the infrastructure in the ground. If wind gets up underneath it, it may rip the vinyl off. But our but the infrastructure pieces, the actual poles, should be anchored right there. So we put one of these um, between every two poles, except for the front and back poles. So this one will will cover that post and that post. And this one will cover that post and that post and that one will cover this post and this post now we did not put one here between the the outside post of the tunnel or the back uh, of the tunnel or at the front of the tunnel because we're putting in a wall here um, this whole back arch will be our back wall with where those two four by sixes are will be the the doors um, uh, swing out six foot doors so we'll have a 12 foot entrance there that we can drive all the way through the tunnel front to back with a tractor or a truck or a gate or any other infrastructure we need to get in here but we'll be we will actually be framing this wall this wall and this entire section out Vinyl coverings will go up over the top and all the way to the ground here and here. So we'll put a 4x6 across, 4x6 across to frame it out, run the vinyl tarp up to the edge of the door, and we'll build a door frame in here that's as high as we wanted. I think we're going up 12 feet. Nope, we're going up 10 feet, and the width is 12 feet. Um, so we'll build the frame and put the, the vinyl tarp attached to that frame, split it down the middle, and we can open the doors, double doors out, drive a tractor all the way through and out the back. The post that we set up on the outside will be a split rail fence that goes all the way around this to keep those guys from getting inside the tunnel and damaging the tunnel. So they're, uh, they really want in here today, so we're not letting them in. So the whole purpose for this was to be able to, to secure each of these legs, each pair of legs all the way through the tunnel and put inward pressure down, um, uh, uh, anchoring these these legs so they can't be pulled out now once we start you'll see in the instructions that we talk about baseboards and ribbon boards so I showed you the baseboards go to those um, two screw holes in the, in the bottoms of the legs 
what that's doing when the baseboard goes in um, because these these posts are not set in concrete the baseboard actually prevents the post from sinking um, as you add weight to it and the ground gets uh, or you add moisture to the soil these posts don't start sinking further into the ground we're going to anchor them down we're, we're tying these down too to hold them to keep them from being pulled up out of the ground but the baseboard prevents them from sinking into the ground and then you have a once you have the baseboard in, then you have a ribbon board that goes up and on the outside of each of these arches all the way across, and that is where your vinyl clips in so that when you roll the tarp up to here, it will lock in place um, here at this, at this height so you can get ventilation through the tunnel. So ribbon boards on the outside, baseboards on the inside, um, we're actually adding another set of boards on that side, uh, two by sixes that are not in the plan to give us some rigidity. And because that's my low side of the tunnel, um, I want to add, uh, we'll be building up the soil in that space. And I want to make sure that I have something to keep that soil from being pushed outside the tunnel. So what we'll see later, it, later on this week um, in another video is us adding these baseboards all the way around the tunnel and the ribbon boards that will go up at about four to five feet. Instructions say four to five feet so we're probably going to split it in the middle and go up four and a half feet here so that when we raise the curtain up we can get good ventilation. Um, keeps the sun at bay. We'll put some shade cloth over that later. That's not part of the kit. Um, but to get that ventilation through, we can roll up both sides and allow the wind to pass through this whole tunnel. Um, our wind comes from, in the summertime, comes from the southeast. And in the wintertime, comes from the northwest. So we'll get a good breeze through here. Um, in the summer, we need that. And in the wintertime, we want to block it. So the ability to roll the tarp up, and bring it down is exactly what we need. More to come as we install the baseboards. We'll show you how to do that. Talk to you later.